Hello everyone, it's Mom Steph right here and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell down below so you will be updated to my future tutorials. So for this video, we are going to talk about the sum of a geometric sequence. The sum of a geometric sequence is sometimes called geometric series. This also means the sum of a geometric sequence. This is an example of a geometric sequence where each term is separated by commas. And this is an example of a geometric series where we add all the terms in a geometric sequence. So in finding the sum of a geometric sequence depends on what type of geometric sequence we are dealing. So for this video, we are only going to talk about getting the sum of finite geometric sequence. So in getting the sum of finite geometric sequence, that means we get the partial sum, which is denoted by S sub n. And S sub n means the sum of all the terms in our geometric sequence starting from the first term up to a certain position in our geometric sequence n. Let's say we have this geometric series and we are to find the sum of its first two terms. So in symbols, we write S sub 2 equals 2 as our first term plus 4. Since we are only going to find the sum of the first two terms and the first two terms are 2 and 4. Therefore, S sub 2 is equal to 6. How about getting the sum of the first 5 terms? So we have S5. That means getting the sum of the first 5 terms equals 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. And so, adding all these numbers, we have the sum of the first five terms equals 62. This method of getting the partial sum of the finite geometric sequence works well with lesser number of terms. But what if we deal with large number of terms in a geometric sequence? So these following formulas and conditions will help us out. But let's study this table first. If our common ratio is not equal to 1, that means any other number except for negative 1 and 0, we can use these two formulas. We use this first formula in getting the sum of a finite geometric sequence with a common ratio not equal to 1 if the first term is known, the common ratio is known, and the number of terms is also given. Now this second formula will be used if the first term is given, the last term of the geometric sequence is given and the common ratio is known. Not knowing n will not matter in this formula. Now if your finite geometric sequence has a common ratio equal to 1, we use the formula S sub n equals n times the first term. Now if the finite geometric sequence has a common ratio equal to negative 1, we then look for the value of n. If n is even, that means the sum of the finite geometric sequence is equal to zero. If n is odd, that means the sum of a finite geometric sequence is equal to the first term. So to illustrate kung paano gamitin ang mga formula sa table na to, we will have some examples. The first example will be to find the sum of the first six terms of the geometric sequence 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24, and so on. Now observe that the given geometric sequence is an infinite geometric sequence. But take note, we are only going to look for the six terms. So this is still considered a finite geometric sequence. That means we are only going to look for the partial sum of this sequence. So para malaman natin what formula are we going to use, unahin muna nating hanapin ang common ratio. And according to the definition of a common ratio of a geometric sequence, we will just choose any term in our geometric sequence and then we will divide that to the term na nauna sa term na yon. So, for this case, we will choose negative 6 
and divide that to positive 3. So our common ratio is equal to negative 2. Para malaman natin kung anong formula ang gagamitin, we will refer again to the table. So since yung common ratio natin is equal to negative 2, we are going to refer to this part. R not equal to 1. So we are going to use the first formula. So bakit natin gagamitin ang first formula? Because sa problem natin, we are given already the first term. And we also know n or the number of terms that we are going to add. Meron na rin tayong value ng r. Kaya naman, we will just substitute these values to our formula. And the resulting equation will be s sub 6 equals 3 times the quantity of 1 minus negative 2, yung r natin, and then n is 6, all over 1 minus negative 2. So to simplify, negative 2 raised to 6 is positive 64, and then negative times negative 2, that becomes positive 2. So uunahin muna natin simplify yung numbers na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Kaya naman, 1 minus 64 is equal to negative 63. And then, common yung 3 sa numerator at sa denominator. Kaya naman, if we're going to divide, this will just become 1. And 1 times negative 63 is still negative 63. So, we can say that the sum of the first six terms of this geometric sequence is negative 63. The second example will be to find the sum of the first six terms of negative 3, 3, negative 3, 3, and so on. So, this is still an infinite geometric sequence. Pero, sabi sa problem, kakailanganin lang natin ang sum ng first six terms terms. So, this is still considered as finite geometric sequence. So, again, kukunin lang natin yung R. Mamimili lang tayo ng any term in our geometric sequence and we will divide that sa term na nauna. So, we have 3 divided by negative 3 at ito yon, And this is equal to negative 1. And so, to proceed, we will again refer to the table. Since our ratio is negative 1, dito tayo titingin sa r equals negative 1. Pero may dalawang kondisyon. Una, kailangan mong malaman kung ang number of terms ba ay even or ang number of terms ay odd. Since in the problem, kukunin lang natin yung first 6 terms of this geometric sequence. Kaya naman, yung n natin ay 6. And we know that 6 is an even number. So, base sa ating condition... Since r is equal to negative 1 and n is even, kaya naman, the sum of the first 6 terms of this geometric sequence is equal to 0. The next example is to find the sum of the first 7 terms of the geometric sequence to negative 2, 2, negative 2, and so on. So, again, uunahin muna natin kunin ang common ratio. At ang common ratio is negative 2 over 2 and that is equal to negative 1. If we refer again to our table, so we refer to r equals negative 1. But then, kailangan nating malaman kung n is even or n is odd. So, babalik tayo sa problem that we are asked to find the first 7 terms. Therefore, yung n natin ay 7. And we know that 7 is an odd number. Kaya naman, ang gagamitin natin na formula ay s sub n equals a sub 1. So, based on the geometric sequence, kakailanganin lang natin identify ang first term, which is 2 in this geometric sequence. So, we can say that since r is equal to negative 1 and n is odd, therefore, the first 7 terms of the geometric sequence is just equal to 2. Next example is to find the sum of the first 8 terms of the geometric sequence 5 over 4, 5 over 4, 5 over 4, and so on. So as you can see, all the terms in our geometric sequence are magkapareho. So again, we will refer to its common ratio. So ang common ratio will be 5 over 4 divided by 5 over 4. Kasi lahat ng terms ay magkapareho lang. That's why our common ratio is just equal to 1. So if we refer to the table, we will refer to r equals 1. So ang gagamitin natin na formula ay ito. So, in this formula, kailangan lang nating malaman ang n at ang first term. So, we have n equal to 8 
and the first term is equal to 5 over 4. So to find the first 8 terms of this geometric sequence, we will just substitute those values in this formula. So S sub 8 is equal to 8 times A sub 1, which is 5 over 4. So to simplify, we will just multiply 8 to 5. 8 times 5 is 40 and then divided by 4. Or, para maging mas madali, since ang 8 ay may factors na 4 times 2, so magiging common ang 4 sa numerator at ang 4 dito sa denominator. Kaya we can divide this out. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay yung 2. And then, we will just multiply 2 to 5. So, we have 2 times 5 equals 10. So, the sum of the first 8 terms of this geometric sequence is 10. And lastly, what if we are given this problem? Find the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence where the first term is 4, the last term is 324, and the common ratio is 3. Hindi man tayo binigyan ng geometric sequence, binigyan naman tayo ng first term, which is 4, last term, which is 324, and ang common ratio na 3. So for the solution, we have a sub 1 equal to 4, a sub n equal to 324. Now take note, hindi natin alam yung n, pero alam natin na yung 324 ay ang last term. And then, the common ratio is equal to 3. So if we refer to our table, dito tayo sasangguni sa r not equal to 1. And since alam natin ang a sub 1, alam din natin ang last term at ang common ratio, ang gagamitin natin ay ang pangalawang formula. So, using this formula, we will just substitute the values. So we have a sub 1 equal to 4, a sub n which is 324, r is 3. So that is all over 1 minus 3. So if we multiply first 324 times 3, the result will be 972. And 1 minus 3, the result is negative 2. So we will then subtract 4 minus 972. We have negative 968 divided by negative 2. And by the rule of dividing integers, a negative number divided by a negative number will have a result of a positive number. Kaya, negative 968 divided by negative 2 is equal to 484. So the sum of this geometric sequence is equal to 484. Hindi man natin alam kung ilang terms ang kinuha na natin ng sum, but knowing the first term, the last term, and the common ratio, and this formula, we can still be able to get the sum. And that's the end of my tutorial. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell down below for more tutorials in the future. And you can share this video para sa iba na pwedeng matulungan ito. Thank you and God bless!